Flat Earth, we don't have time for a meeting of society. As much as I'll hammer a YouTube or a Facebook for artificially promoting Flat Earth, I think it's important that we recognize that institutions with a lot more power, like the mainstream GOP, are now huge platformers of conspiracy theories. They're normalizing it and they're weaponizing it and theories like QAnon, which, uh, you know, started fringe and still make it extremely fringe claims are being ingested into this bloodstream. But as far as how theories like flat earth work, I don't think we can entirely silo them into the harmless field just because their core claims are kind of silly. Because what's going on right now is conspiracy movements online are networking. Um, so flat earth groups, although in around 2017, when I started monitoring them, when I started monitoring them were, um, they did keep to themselves a little bit more. Nowadays, they are promoting QAnon-like theories. They're promoting vaccine hesitancy. And QAnon uh, channels are promoting flat earth. There's a ton of exchange. And I've even seen that in person in the meat world. Like I went to a, um, a flat earth conference and these two women approached me and tried to give me a bracelet. And I'm like, why are you giving me free stuff? And it had a QAnon bangle on it. I'm like, are you even flat earthers at all? They're like, not really, but we thought flat earthers might be interested in this thing that we believe. So there is a real consciousness that people who might be conspiracy curious could be pulled further in an extreme direction. And I do actually think that's happening in a number of conspiracy movements. A uh, flat earth thing is, I mean, a gateway uh, drug or is it, it's, I mean, it, how, how much? How much of this is people who are looking to make money and how much of this is, you know, um, like what w break down the sort of dynamic, uh, you know, the, where the lines are in terms of like, you know, uh, 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 sort of people who are uh, exploiting these, the, 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 the desire to belong and, and whatever the conspiracy provides for them. And then the, the exploited, like where, like, wh how would you draw those lines? I mean, do you have a sense of there's a couple of these people who are just like, I'm chasing the clicks on YouTube because I'm monetizing this stuff or I'm selling, you know, whatever it is, uh, uh, you know, a special vitamin mix or, or whatever. I mean, what, what is it? What, how does that break down? You know, I think it actually breaks down along similar lines as most other influencer spheres, which influencer spheres, which are spheres, which are kind of pyramid schemes in an unofficial way, right? You have the people on top who it's really, really working for, and you only have a couple people who are really profiting from this. And actually, I'd say that the people who get the most clicks in a conspiracy video are not flat earthers or the most clicks in a flat earth video. You know, you have influencers like Logan Paul made a flat earth video. I think Shane Dawson made one. And they're not flat earthers, but they recognize that this is a sensational topic and that they can get some good play from that. Underneath them are genuine flat earthers or people who make their whole channels out of conspiracy content. And some of them do make a living. They genuinely do. Um, from that content and they become kind of celebrities in the conspiracy world. And then underneath them is this uh, just ecosystem of micro influencers, you know, people selling flat earth books to each other and buying the other guy's flat earth t-shirt, selling uh, conference tickets. And then there are so many people who are just feeding their money into the system, paying $300 for a conference where they buy a, you know, a $25 hat and a $50 shirt and, um, you know, somebody sold me a, a flat earth uh, cookbook uh, via PDF for $20. You know, you can just waste all your money on this kind of thing. So most people, I think, are getting scammed to a slight degree. What is it? What's in a flat earth cookbook? Uh, just the worst recipes. Just telling you how to make pasta. Not worth my time. <laughs> Just to tell you how to make pasta. How is it different in a in a like a, a like when you live on a globe as opposed to a flat disc? I think it was more just a branding opportunity. The guy knew that he could you know kind of slap the flat Earth name on it, and people would buy it. I did. Well, all right, fair enough. Um, so let me ask you this: I mean, do you come across any other um, conspiracies in the course of your work as a reporter in this field that are clearly just 
scams. I, like I'm thinking, uh, it, you know, birds aren't real. I, I mean, I think like that was developed because somebody wanted to play a joke. It was uh, somebody who was a comedian, I think. Um, and it just sort of grew and he just wanted to see where. But I mean, do, have you seen s situations where something like this has spawned an actual movement? You know, you could make that argument, I think, with things like QAnon and Pizzagate. Most of their believers are really diehard believers, but both of those had inauthentic beginnings. QAnon is somebody LARPing as a government official, and uh, unfortunately, they're just inspiring national Republican bloodlust. Um, but I mean, none of these theories are factual. Somebody authoring them either has completely bought into their own lunacy or uh, is consciously deluding people. And I think that's as true um, with you know, flat earth as it is with political conspiracy theories that are cannibalizing the GOP right now. Uh, on this program now get like, uh, um, you know, will people come after us on Twitter or on YouTube as like just doing the work of whatever secret society that promotes the idea that the world is not flat <laughs> uh, you might get one or two uh but you know it's um listen i've i've hung out with them for like years and i've i've hung out with them for like years and i don't feel personally threatened so uh join the club how do they respond to you like i mean like i mean like are you are you uh, are, are there i mean does it get to the point of like Oh, she's definitely been sent by the government or who is the entity that is keeping us shrouded in this uh, belief that the world is not flat? Who is there an entity uh, that, that does, is in charge of it? And, and, and do you get accused of being like a, an agent of that? There is a, there's varying responses because I do ask people, who do you think is hiding it? A lot of people will say the government or uh, I've heard somebody say it was like uh, witches, it was like uh, witches. And then, of course, a standard answer is extremely anti-Semitic. So um, you can imagine. Um, <laughs> do I get accused of being involved? You know, um, I think I have a couple book reviews to that effect right now. But typically, listen, when I go and report on flat earthers, I tell them who I am and what I believe. I'm a journalist. I believe in round earth. I believe in round earth. But if you want to hang out and talk, I'm here to listen. And I have found that people are OK with that. People do want to talk and they often tell me about their feelings, not just, you know, their uh, planetary beliefs. And so I find that people seem to trust me enough to not think that I'm a CIA agent, that I'm a CIA agent, um, but to think that I'm mistaken and that I will come around, so to speak. Um, ha have you come around at all? I mean, have, is it, have it shaken any of your beliefs in the uh, round earth? Um, no, I think I can prove round earth pretty easily. So I feel pretty comfortable on that one. All right. Lastly, what is the what is the motivation for whomever it is that's hiding this information? What is their what is the uh, motivations attributed to them? I mean, because uh, like wh like why are why are governments spending all this money putting troops at the border of the ice wall um, when there's an ice wall there? Um, when there's an ice wall there, like what is the benefit that the 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 you know the that that the jews or whomever it is that is hiding the fact that the uh planet is uh flat what what is the benefit that we're supposedly getting from this you know you can ask 10 flat earthers and get 10 different answers i typically hear things ranging from mind control to um downplaying the role of religion but I'll leave you with the weirdest one that I've ever heard. So flat earthers don't tend to believe in outer space. They don't think it exists. I was talking to this guy and I'm like, so what's the point? Why, why, why even hide it? He says, I think that they are trying to trick us into believing that there is an outer space so that they trick us into believing there are aliens so that when Jesus returns, we will mistake him for an alien and shoot him on sight. All right. Fair enough. I mean, I don't know why we would have to be so aggro against the aliens, but um, but uh, all right. 
I mean, that's at least there's an explanation. Uh, Kelly, while uh, the book is off the edge, flat earthers, conspiracy culture and why people will believe anything. Thanks so much for your time today. Uh, you know, the, where the lines are. It breaks down along similar lines as most other influencer spheres. Like where, like, wh how would you draw those lines? Similar lines as that I will come around, so to speak. What is it? Wh how does that break down? H have you come around at all? similar lines as the harmless field have you shaken any of your beliefs in the uh, around earth I believe in outer space like where like wh how would you draw those similar lines as they don't think it exists i think i can prove round earth pretty easily so uh flat lines flat lines and they spin faster and faster 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 it's kind of amazing that any person can keep their balance when they do that.